Hi guys, and welcome back. So, I know it's been a while since we did the last podcast, but now we have the whole family here, seeing that because they'll all be leaving this weekend, so I got the whole family together, it's the last time, or second last time we'll be together, be together before they leave. So yeah, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna let everyone introduce themselves to you, so you guys can actually see, well yeah, the whole family. And then they'll you talk a bit about what they how they felt like being here in Korea, what was the best part, how are they gonna miss me when they leave, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> and then we'll just talk about that's it. So my mother is gonna be first, but she wants to run away from the mic. So you heard my mom. So, so just say hello from that side. Just say hello. Hello. Oh, and then we have my dad again, you guys heard my dad. Hello. And then we have my sister. This is my sister. Hi. And my sister's son. This is Cameron. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're just going to talk about, we'll go through everything. My sister and Cameron are from the UK. And then obviously my parents are from Cape Town. So the flights were very different. But my sister then also went to Japan first before coming to Korea. So... I'll let my sister and them speak first, talk about what it was like coming to Korea and then the best parts, what they enjoyed the most because the family also went to Jeju so they know what it's like to be in Jeju they can actually speak a bit about Jeju and then today they went and did the Hanok village so where they put on the traditional Korean clothes and walked around posing, taking pictures and getting very hot in the temples so yeah so, Lisa and Cameron, how was it coming to Korea? What was it like? It... A long flight. <laughs> a very long one. Oh, from, from Japan it wasn't so bad. Though. Oh, half an hour. Yeah. But I must say, it was what was different was nobody spoke English. And I think that was something that's very different from other places. Yeah. Probably. Especially in Europe. Yeah. yeah, especially I think especially because when you're traveling in Europe a lot, you have yes. that English factor. Yes. And then coming to the Far East. Yes. Or you at least have a few foreign words. Yeah. But I definitely yeah. didn't have any Korean words <laughs> at all. And even I mean, the ones I did learn, I'm too nervous to even pronounce. <laughs> yeah. So I would say there's definitely a barrier there. But the signs are easy. So it was easy to travel around, I must mm. say. And um, the travel was very efficient. Yeah. Um, even when we went to Gimpo Airport and we had to take our way <laughs> to, to Dejan, yeah, yeah. that was still easy to figure out. So it, I must have impressed with the travel yeah. system. Yes, you yeah. don't need the language. Yeah. I will say the only like, yeah. slow part is when we got to arrivals, they had um, two people at customs. So the queue took a good like hour. Yeah. I would have sat there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was interesting. But um, yeah, but otherwise it's been amazing. It's been very different <laughs> from anything else. Anything. Yeah, we always say that. We always tell people yeah. when you're coming to Korea, especially especially Korea, you, like if you do Japan, I don't know, you guys do Japan. Japan, it's still, I think you, you can still feel a bit more Western. Yes. Western in Japan, but Korea, you can feel it's very isolated. It's very yes. isolated. You say that, but we see like a lot of like, Say KFCs and McDonald's and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. Like, I feel like Japan was the more alien one to me mm. in terms of just how different it was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's not to say Korea is like so familiar. It's not. Mm -hmm. It definitely isn't. Yeah. But in a good way. Did you notice the KFCs and McDonald's were virtually empty? <laughs> I don't blame them, though. <laughs> <laughs> and there's an, and there's an, a Korean twist. Yeah. Probably, yeah. yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. But I think the, 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 the difference, though, we were saying yesterday is that in Korea, you feel like you've got the time to enjoy things that we maybe wanted to try in Japan, where Japan was so fast-paced. You yeah, you only had about like, two days and everything was yeah, far. Yeah, and you know. also it was like, because there's so many more tourists, you're waiting longer in queues. So the things we wanted to try, we actually could try here. And we couldn't get in in Japan, you know. So, so it actually felt like Korea had less tourists, so you could actually enjoy it more. Yeah. yeah. It's pricey. Yeah. Japan was definitely more expensive. 
Yeah. Uh, and I must say, I think with Korea, I am amazed by your products. <laughs> your body products and your facial products. <laughs> yeah, everything is so much nicer, I think. Yeah. And I left, I think, I don't think we've used any of our own products from our own. We've used everything you you guys, because it's better. Yeah. Like you've seen the people here, their faces flawless. Yes. Yeah. Even, <laughs> yeah. Even my expensive beauty products. <laughs> no compare. Yes. Yes. So I've ended up buying a whole lot of Daiso products <laughs> to take back. It's going to replace my Clarence for. <laughs> true. Yeah. Same, same, same. Yes. Oh, and how was it? And talking about Jeju. How was Jeju? How was going to. And I said, there's a little story. Someone got shouted at by a bus driver. Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Two different buses. <laughs> Jade did not like this. <laughs> this vision of myself in a Korean gulag. <laughs> and thinking, who's going to bail me out? <laughs> we, yeah. we would bail you out at our convenience. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. After a couple of years. Yeah, just, well, <laughs> you'd have to go that see the Yeah. Just to go sing karaoke to make money to buy the bus. Yeah. And then you all did the Hanuk experience or the Hanbok experience. How was that? Yes, that was good. That was definitely good, I think. Yeah, we got into, we went into the houses and used their toilets <laughs> in the village. And we, what else did we do with it? Oh, yes. Oh, of course, we dressed up. That was yes. interesting. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Was it hot, Cameron? Yes. <laughs> I was ducking from one piece of shade to the other. <laughs> yeah. I've been looking for breezes <laughs> under the trees. Yeah. We looked cool as hell. So <laughs> that's yes. also true. That's also true. Yes. And that, and that was the only place we could, we actually found people that were talking English to us today. <laughs> I don't know why, you know, considering it's a smaller town than, than um, Daejeon, but we had a whole lot more people speaking English to us. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting, I think, well, yeah, even though people don't speak English, there's been a lot of people that have um, been willing to help. Been willing yeah. to help, yes. And yeah. and wanting us to try things. Yeah. And, you know. We got so, free stuff at a restaurant, actually. Yeah. And yeah. we just, she just gave us like a bunch of like, oh. eggs and whatnot. Yes. I think we were we were like the on display. Everybody was <laughs> on display to see us. Everybody was coming out to see who we see us. <laughs> we still, we, I think we stand out like the saw thumb where we are, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So I think that's the weird was, thing. Like when you travel Europe, you don't get that yes. as much as yes. this side. Yes. Uh, and speaking of people getting approached, my father was getting approached by all our rooms. So how was your experience? We are now, what, you've been in our month? How was it? This is the second time because we've been here last year, so I get that. I've got most of the experience the last time. This was more important to have the family together than uh, the month flu. Yeah. The flu in no time at all. We planned this get together for so long and it's flown by so quickly. But, uh, well, the highlight was just to have the family together because I've been to Korea before. Korea, I still love the efficiency, the way they do simple things correctly. Mm -hmm. Which to mm -hmm. me, from my engineering background, uh, speaks volumes and mm -hmm. do the simple things well. That's what I love about Korea. No bad things, the people, the safety, the food. <laughs> the food now. And uh, the holiday's over too soon. Now we're going back to winter. Yeah, going back to winter, going back to cold. But you guys that are listening now, it's at the moment it's 22 degrees. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. Last night it was 20 degrees at 2 o'clock in the morning. So you can imagine going back to Cape Town where it's raining and <laughs> stuff like that. It's a totally different vibe. Totally different vibe. And you, mommy? Come, let's move closer. Go on, duck. Now, your turn. Come. What must I say? I enjoyed the holiday. I enjoyed being together with everybody. <laughs> Thinking to be closer. The Jeju Island was so fantastic. Because last year when we were there, that was the only place we hadn't been. Mm. So we made an effort and it was really good. And... 
I don't know we'll not come back again because it's a bit too far. <laughs> Yeah, I think. No, we have to come back because we're going to go hike all those mountains there in Cheshire. <laughs> so we're going to have to come back fitter. We've got a year to get ready. All oh, those turns are Yes. Yeah. We, we, must, gotta, yes. we must also check out the caves. That one's really cool. Mm. Caves are always nice. I mean, I think there's 12 hiking trails all across yeah. Korea and you get like medals if you complete them. Ah. I know, I know, like. Two people, I think, that have completed it. I only know two people that have completed it. Wow. But it's like all different regions and doing all the different stuff. Like Maybe we could all go for 100% completion. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. After we beat Cameron in bowling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, this is just a nice catch-up for you guys to hear everything from the family, from their side. As I said, they've stayed last couple of days now. They'll be leaving on Saturday. Also, it was really nice to have all the family together. I think it was 10 years since the last time we were all together. Yes. Now, 10 years, Cameron was still, we could, I was carrying Cameron around, <laughs> walking with Cameron, carrying Cameron around and stuff. So yeah, it's been 10 years now. So it's, I mean, it's been longer with you and it's been really awesome having all the family around. So yeah, it's just so you guys can hear what the experiences were and how they feel. So yeah, thank you guys for listening. Thank you, family, for being part of this. So yeah, we'll just say bye. And then yeah, three, two, thank you for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>